Hey dudes, Crazy here, back with another No Man's Sky update, and today we have Origins patch 3.03 that should be available on all of the platforms by the time this video gets posted. But this new update comes in fresh with some brand new changes that you're going to want to know of, and especially so some really awesome bug fixes for some of the ongoing issues. Before jumping in though, I want to give a huge shout out to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. Instant Gaming sells games at some of the cheapest prices you can find around, so if you also enjoy big gaming discounts, definitely go ahead check out their website by using my links in the description box down below so let's not waste any more time i'm gonna jump right into it with one of the first changes right here that i was actually quite um, surprised when i saw it and that is the fact that hello games has done some improvement to the overall vegetation especially so in terms of how displacement now works so now they have improved the displacement effect on vegetation when it is pushed by the player or by other creatures basically you're now going to see in the new update that when you're moving through grass or when you're kind of getting close to other plant types they will have a more pronounced type of movement and reaction to you passing through them um, previously it was way way more subdued and i believe that it only affected the grass but now the other plant types are also affected now on top of this they also added a bunch of other bug fixes like for example for the issue that caused vegetation and other planetary items to spread too thin when viewed from afar which um, it should mean that you should now be able to see planets being a bit more dense than before from what i'm reading they've also made the bug with the occasional checkerboard patterns to appear on frozen and volcanic terrain to also go away and finally the stretch polygon glitch especially with the grass was also addressed in this update now let's move over to one that i'm actually really glad that hello games implemented and they did add some improvements to our same old photo mode well they added a bunch of improvements with the origins update anyway but now they've also improved the controls of the camera so now they have added acceleration to the camera movement to allow for more refined adjustments and basically once you go in game in the new update you will notice that in the photo mode your camera will start moving a bit more slower and it will have a bit more weight than it had in the previous update but this makes a huge amount of difference for somebody like me who uses a keyboard and mouse and previously the camera would be way Way too sensitive and I would always overshoot my characters or my subjects when trying to get close-up shots like these but in the new update it's finally stabilized I can go in the weighty feeling definitely changes things for me and I can finally get close like this in the photo mode if you are on a controller for example you don't have to worry about that you, you never had to worry about that because you already had the fine-tuned controlled in your controller anyway outside of these we also have a bunch of other fixes for example for the field of view bug that made screenshots to appear a lot more cropped in when you would save the file so especially if you were a steam user you likely realize that all of your image files would appear way more cropped than how they were in game when you took that screenshot so that was also a bug and it was addressed in the new update and finally for the photo mode they also made the props to appear at the highest possible detail when viewing them in the photo mode probably to get like better screenshots shots and whatnot moving on though we also have a bunch of other changes to for example the analysis visor now you will see that distant markers are shown slightly faded out compared to the ones that are closer to you so here's a comparison that i made earlier with two similar types of icons one of them was about 100 units away while the other one was about 200 plus and you can see that the one that is 200 plus on the left side appears slightly more faded in and the further the away it is the more faded in it is going to be so basically this was an attempt to fix some of the clutter that exists on your screen or existed on the screen in the previous updates as now we have quite a ton of objectives at any given point on any planet and it kind of becomes a bit overwhelming at times now there's also a bunch of other changes in here that i do want to talk about and one really interesting quality of life change that i really like is the fact that they now finally made it possible to use the back out button to exit a conversation or an interaction with an NPC or a structure. So to give you an example, previously if you talked to an NPC like these ones right here, in order to leave that conversation you would have to manually bring your cursor over that leave button over there at the bottom and had to press it to actually exit that screen. But now you can just press the back out button which should be your right click on the mouse or circle I believe on the controller but I might be mistaken on that 
that one so pretty nice change over there it makes things way easier when you're trying to buy things from npcs for example moving on though they've added a very interesting change to dead planets or low atmosphere planets in the sense that they've increased the likelihood of meteor showers to happen on these types of planets which would make them a lot more interesting now that they um, they also include these types of activities of course this doesn't exclude that meteor showers can't happen on other types of planets it just means that on the dead ones it happens a little bit more often and they've also realized that they can happen sporadically so you might just see one single meteor falling in the distance or maybe even in front of you rather than entire showers happening all over the place so it's kind of like a mixed bag over here it can happen in both kinds of ways and of course the final change that i'm going to mention in this video is going to be for the planetary archives you might have realized that there's a bunch of problems with them well they have addressed many of these problems especially for the issue that blocked other players from using these vaults in the first place when you would actually go in in the multiplayer so now if you're with your friend you should both be able to access those planetary archives and those vaults over there with no issue and since we're still on the subject of vaults they've also addressed the issue that would cause the items awarded by these vaults to change rarities when going in and doing a save reload so basically now it should stay at the same rarity that you got it in the first place and finally of course they made exchanging an artifact at the planetary archive vault to now correctly award standing with the relevant faction which should be the dominant faction in that system now this brings us to the final point that i want to make of course the new update added a bunch of changes but the number one thing that i had to test is if our nanite farm was still working i've covered this in a previous video when we talked about going into space stations and farming these x rank modules to get a ton of nanites in a very short amount of time especially now that a lot of things cost nanites to upgrade and lo and behold it still actually works even in the new update uh, many people predicted that this would be fixed in a new update well it wasn't you can go ahead safely do these for quite some time at this point and i would suggest you to go ahead and do it now since it might get fixed in a future kind of update if you haven't checked that video yet by the way i recommend you go ahead and do so because it explains everything you need to know about that very method but this is it for now thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one